guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're heading back down to the local track for some 400 meter reps it's going to be high intensity it's going to be properly swimming in lactate a proper 1500 meter session so it's going to be really good i can't wait to get down there and we have got a special guest today a world record holder corey campbell he just set a 15 year old um, mile record with the time of 405 um, taking the record off um, an Australian guy, I think his name's Cameron Myers or something like that. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how I com compare to, to someone of his sort of calibre and obviously he's only 15, so it's going to be great and very humbling to be here, absolutely battered by someone like that. Um, so yeah, today's session, I'm going to put it up here. It's uh, two sets of four by 400 metres with 60 seconds rest in between and then the rest in between the sets is going to be six minutes. And during that time, we're going to be changing into spikes so that, that second set is hopefully a little bit more quality um, and it's a bit more kind of race like I guess. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult, it's gonna be painful, um, but that's what these sessions are for. Get me ready for future track races um, with the next one at Elson on Wednesday, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But yeah, without further ado, let's head down to the track. So guys, we're training at a bit of a weird time today, training at 12.30, so we're gonna take a, a quick detour um, by Marks and Spencer and just pick up a sandwich because my parents are coming for today so exciting times, exciting times um, but yeah, I'll let you know what I get if you're interested record holder that I previously mentioned in the video so first of all Corey uh, do you want to tell everyone what world record you've got so it was the uh, boys age 15 mile and I broke that at the, the monument mile meeting in Sterling yeah so what time did you run uh, I ran 405.77 from Benjamin McMillan an absolutely incredible run crikey and who did you take that record off uh, Cameron Myers Australia oh, yeah. Australia so how, how do you feel having Having got a world record, I mean, I don't know many people with world records. <laughs> a bit of a shock. Yeah. It was a bit of a shock, yeah. But uh, did you know? Pleased. Did you know it was in contention? I knew. Did? Yeah, I knew. Oh, I knew it was in contention, but I mean, I wasn't. I wasn't sure it was gonna go. But yeah. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. So, what was it like going into school? Like the week after, you just got a world record. Did people, <laughs> did people really know? Or yeah, yeah. So, so obviously, like, there was that. There was that post on Instagram with Trackstar. Yeah. And. Um, some people did see that and they, they people asking me were like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's got so like 15,000 cool. likes or something. Yeah, so I think yeah. everyone saw that. No, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah, today we're doing um, obviously some 400s. Um, so yeah, so basically what what are you kind of hoping for from today's session? What Any any paces in mind? Um, probably work around six seconds yeah. for the fours, I think. Um, yeah, just take some reps of the guys and hopefully the guys take some reps for me as well. Yeah, no, cool. Well, thanks for chatting and obviously you'll see some footage of... of um, of Corey doing, doing some 400 with me and I'm, I'll just try my best not to get dropped. So uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for... Right, cool.
strong. Okay, it's being slow. Okay, you got time after this. Yeah, you can go sub 60. Okay, so work hard for these four. If it strings out, let it string out. God, only two more after this. God, work together. Keep close the gaps. Close the gaps. Yeah, help Corey out. Guys, can you close the gap at all? Stay relaxed as possible. Stay strong. Go on, boys. Louis, go with them. Go on, Jack. Jamie, how was that? Uh, it was all right. Painful? Yeah. Painful, very painful. <laughs> um, you know, we were clicking off nice, nice reps on the first one, 60s yeah. in the first set, and then uh, I think we were 59 for the first, the second set. We kind of killed yeah. everyone. There's a 59 and a 60, wasn't it? And then, and then it got a bit sloppy. I think I did a 50, no, 60, 65 for the third. Yeah. Which, no, but it's good. Yeah. Very windy. Well, like, uh, and you have some pictures on the Yeah, they're pretty beat. Yeah. Got them last year. Is that going to be a new pair soon then? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I got them last year because there's no dragonflies and I've liked them ever since. So. Fair play. Well, yeah. Thanks for the chat. Short runs tomorrow, no long runs anymore. Can we go chuck, please, please? Where? Dang. You're going to interview the coach. How do you feel about the session today? It's like a workout Wednesday when they. You gotta speak like you gotta put the glasses on, like the NAU guy. It'll be really, really tough for them to pull off today, but they, uh, yeah, there's an element of this I, I got nothing to do with. It. They just, they just know what to do. So, <laughs> give it. To well, guys, it was a long one today. They all worked hard. Now we need to pop one in a minute. So guys, session done at the track. Um, it was a good session. Um, yeah, the first six were really good quality, about 60 second average. Um, I think the odds is 59 in there. Um, and then the last two just kind of dropped off a cliff with lactate. Just um, So yeah, I actually only did seven and a half at 200 to go and that last one had just pulled out. All the quality had gone. So um, there's just no point kind of pushing it and just, you know, making myself over fatigued or just fighting the the lactate for no reason and just swimming basically so yeah overall really good session it was great to meet Corey in person really nice lad um and i managed to kind of hold on to him for six of them 
Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna have my, my lunch from Oxford Spencer's and uh, go home basically. So guys, we are back from the session. Just like I quickly add some bits to what I said earlier basically. So yeah, I've been warming up and cooling down in the On Cloud Monsters. I don't find them an overly comfortable shoe. So I've really um, enjoyed kind of warming up and cooling down in them because then when I switch to street flies or whatever shield in session in spikes, they feel so much more comfortable and I then feel like I run quicker, if that makes sense. So I never run in something that's super comfortable or super soft um, to warm up in, just because otherwise I feel like you almost like downgrade then when you go into a session and it feel like it has a negative impact on me mentally. So yeah, that's why I warm up and cool down in these. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, today's session was really good. Um, it was great to get dragged around by someone um, who's six years younger than me. Um, and, uh, and to be fair, I was really chuffed myself for uh, being able to hold on for at least five or six of those reps. Um, yeah, I just kind of got finished off because that's, if I'm honest, that's like, this is a fairly like new pace for me. Um, and if you told me I'd be able to hold on for that sort of session, even even two weeks ago, I'd be like, nah. So I just, I feel like I'm improving really, really well at these sort of distances at the moment. And I'm really happy with that, even though I didn't quite manage the last rep. Um, but yeah, these things happen. Like it's, it's all about ups and downs in this sport. Um, and you can't hammer the track every single week. Um, you eventually have some have some down down sessions. So 95% um, of that session was, was top notch. So really happy with that. Um, next race is the Eltham uh, BMC on Wednesday night under the 1500 meters. I was toying with doing another 800 meter, but I decided actually um, I wanted to do the 15 because I was going to enter both and then pick on the night, but you can only enter one. I'd already entered the 15, so I can't be asked with a hassle of switching. So I stick with the 15, that's what I've got planned, and I think today's session was a bit more kind of 15 based. Um, so yeah, hopefully improve my PB, 359. Um, and this time I've got a little bit more track confidence, so maybe. I'll push it or, or be tactically a little bit better. So yeah, that's the aim. That's the next race. Um, but yeah, massive thank you to Corey for, for chatting with me um, and just being an all-round um, nice guy. I wish him all the best with his future future running and, and endeavours and hopefully he comes back and trains with us in the future. That'd be really cool. Um, and yeah, obviously the other boys you've all met before, Jamie, Smalls, etc, etc. So yeah, we had a nice little group there at the front, all five of us. Um, I, was, I think I was the only one who didn't lead any, but if I'm honest, I think that probably would have killed me off. Um, a little bit sooner so yeah i think it was it was wise um yeah it was windy today so even 60s that's, that's some great running from from me and the other boys so yeah reach off with that but yes guys i hope you have enjoyed today's video a bit of a new one tick off the bucket list train with a world record holder um and yeah so thank you guys for tuning in please like subscribe and share with your running buddies it really helps get this channel out to more people um and yeah so basically the more people i get the more potentially the more money i can make from the channel and then i can make the videos even better um the next thing that i'd like to hopefully buy is maybe a new camera that's months down the line um but yeah basically all of the money i make from youtube although it's very little at the moment um i'm just saving it up saving it up and then hopefully we can buy something really good for the channel like a new camera um and really take this content to the next level but yeah anyway thank you guys for your ongoing support as always and i'll catch you in the next one